I'm going to tell a story from the Mesozoic today, and for that we need a, a Mesozoic stage. That's about a 110 million year old dinosaur, days. dubbed the fern mower, for its bizarrely shaped years. mouth and delicate skull, was unveiled at the National Geographic right Society. In the, ground, extremely fragile. the dinosaur, known as the Nijasaurus decatai, was found in the Sahara by National Geographic explorer-in-residence Paul yeah. Serino, a paleontologist and professor at the University of Chicago. Serino had been piecing the dinosaur together since the 1990s. This was an incredibly strange animal with a mouth that extend, expanded like a, a vacuum cleaner, hundreds of teeth in the skull. It was probably uh, taking cropping vegetation close to the ground. We were able to determine, you know, it was very clearly something new. The animal, which measured around 50 feet in length, sustained its huge size by mowing down mouthfuls of greenery using its featherweight skull armed with hundreds of needle-shaped teeth. The dinosaur's strangest feature was a broad, straight-edged muzzle, which allowed its mouth to work close to the ground. Unlike any other herbivore, Nijasaurus had more than 30 columns of teeth lined up tightly along the front edge of its squared-off jaw. Even more unusual, CAT scans of the jawbone revealed replacement teeth stacked behind each cutting tooth. The animal had more than 500 teeth, with stacks of up to 10 teeth in one line erupting from a single point in the jaw. The bones of the Nijasaurus were discovered in 1976 by French paleontologists, though the species was not named. Serino and his team honored this early work by naming the species after French paleontologist Philippe Tequet. The Nijasaurus is on display at the National Geographic Museum in Explorers Hall in Washington, D.C. through March of 2008.